वंस अपॉन ए टाइम ड्यूरिंग टाइम्स ऑफ गौतम बुद्धा देयर लिव्ड ए रिच मर्चेंट इन टाउन श्रावस्ती ही हैड ए वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डॉटर नेम्ड पटाचारा मैनी यंग मैन वार अट्रैक्टर टू हर ब्यूटी हर पेरेंट्स यूज टू लॉक हर अप इन द अपर चैम्बर ऑफ देयर हाउस सो दैट नो मैन मे ले हिज आईज ऑन हर पटाचारा हाउ एवर फेल इन लव विद ए सर्वेंट ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड द मर्चेंट हैड फाउंड ए रिच यंग फेलो टू बी वेड टू पटाचारा बट ऑन हर वेडिंग नाइट शी रैन वे विद हर लवर दे फ्लैट फ्रॉम देयर विलेज एंड मेड ए सिंपल लिविंग बाय डूइंग मेन यर लेबर आफ्टर सम टाइम पटाचारा बिकेम प्रेगनेंट एंड शी लेफ्ट फॉर हर पेरेंट्स हाउस विद हर हजबेंड टू डिलीवर हर चाइल्ड एज दे डिड नॉट हैव द प्रॉपर अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर द डिलीवरी ऑफ द बेबी हाउ एवर शी गेव बर्थ टू द चाइल्ड ऑन द वे सो दे रिटर्न होम आफ्टर सम टाइम पटाचारा अगेन बिकेम प्रेगनेंट दे अगेन लेफ्ट फॉर पटाचारा पेरेंट्स होम टू डिलीवर हर सेकेंड चाइल्ड दे हैड टू ट्रेवल थ्रू ए डेंस फॉरेस्ट टू रीच हर मेटर्नल होम ऑन द वे ए ग्रेट स्ट्रॉम ब्रोक आउट Patachara started to have labor pains. Her husband went in search of firewood. While he was chopping firewood, a poisonous snake bit him and he died right there. Ignorant of all these things, Patachara gave birth to another child in the desolate forest. She spent the whole night protecting her children from rain and waiting for her husband. In the morning, she went in search of her husband and reached a place where her husband was laying dead seeing her husband dead she was blown away with shock now grief stricken patachara started walking towards her parents home with her children on the way there was a river that was in full speed due to monsoon rains and it was impossible for her to cross the raging river carrying her both children so she left her older child on the bank and crossed the river with her newborn baby once she crossed the river she left her newborn baby there and went back to fetch her older child when she was in the middle of the river an eagle swooped down grabbed patajara's newborn baby and flew away seeing this she started to panic and scream hearing his mother scream patajara's older son thought that she was calling him so he jumped into the river it was not possible for a small kid to cross that raging river and soon he drowned in the overflowing river patachara kept screaming but could not save her child having lost both her children and husband on the same day she lost her mental balance and started to cry in deep agony as she neared the home of her parents she met a local resident from the village Patachara told him about herself and asked about her relatives. The man was dumbstruck after he heard her story. After much pleading, he told Patachara how the previous night's downpour had destroyed her parents' house. Her entire family had drowned in the flood. They had been taken to burn their funeral. The smoke that you see coming from the west is probably from their funeral pyre. After listening to this Patachara was totally broken this last tragedy totally broke her heart she lost her mental balance and started roaming naked around Shravasti she was crying and wailing like a wounded animal seeing her naked people would scold her and drove her away in anger it happened that one day she reached Jetwan while wandering and there lived gautam buddha with his disciples while wandering she reached a place where buddha was preaching she started going to buddha by splitting the crowd people started stopping her this created a noise in that place this noise and wailing of a woman caught attention of gautam buddha buddha stopped the people and instructed them to let her come to him patachara reached buddha in a naked and insane state she had no senses and was behaving like insane buddha looked at her with compassion and said 
sister come to your senses and as if a miracle happened she suddenly came back to her senses and as soon as she regained her consciousness she realized that she was naked she was embarrassed and sat down to cover herself buddha gave her one of his robes to cover her body she wore the robe and laid prostrate at the feet of buddha she narrated her tragic story to buddha in the presence of buddha all her agony simply evaporated a new calmness and peace descended upon her buddha said just as you are shedding tears for your children and family now you have shed tears in countless lives the amount of tears humanity has shed for being separated from their loved ones is greater than the amount of water in the ocean death and separations are the harsh rules of this world don't destroy yourself in mourning rather find out the way to be free from the bondage of sorrow hearing these words from gautam buddha patachara achieved the state of shrota panna as per buddhism shrota panna is one of the four stages before one attains enlightenment then she took initiation from gautam buddha and became disciple of buddha and it is said that eventually she became enlightened before she left her body if we observe in our life we will find that sorrow always comes to teach us something had there not been such a great sorrow in life of patachara she might not have reached to buddha and attained enlightenment similarly sometimes some events happens in our life and we feel sorrow we should understand that sorrow has come for our betterment until there are no sorrows in your life you will never find a way to get rid of it therefore whenever there is sorrow in your life remember that it has come to take you closer to your true self a land of eternal happiness where there is no space for any sorrow this is words of wisdom inspirational stories thanks for watching and keep smiling